Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, Max Brown, and Gala Trubent, freshman freshman libero in USC women's volleyball, joins us now. You guys are uh, playing great, seven of eight. Uh, what's what's uh, clicked in for for the women of Troy? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, honestly, it's been a great season so far. Obviously, we're a very new team. Um, we have seven freshmen and I think four transfers. So obviously with a bunch of new girls, um, it was a big deal for us to get um, just communicating a lot on and off the court, bonding together, um, kind of just like really spending a lot of time with each other so that we can trust each other on and off the court. And I think in the past few games that we've played, like we've just been able to really come together and like everyone knew their role on the court, on and off the court. Um, we were able to, um, one big thing that clicked for us, I think in these last few weeks was our serving. Um, I know you guys might ask about this later, but oh, um, boom. just going to touch on it. Um, <laughs> you know, Mia, one of the best servers in the country, if not the best, like just like getting back there, getting really aggressive and taking risks. And I think that's a big deal. And it's put us in a lot of good spots. So, yeah. Carla, tell, talk about being a freshman, coming into a college, not knowing that experience, and then playing right away, being a part of the team, and all that that comes. I remember being a freshman, and they, they threw me to the wolves, and I didn't know. My head was spinning what was going on. Like, how was it mm -hmm. the, the getting used to being college and playing at an early age? Yeah, so, um, well, it's been obviously challenging, just like any you know anyone else's experience here, but um, I think it's been really great coming in with a big class um, and a lot of girls that are kind of experiencing the same thing as me. And um, another thing that's been huge is just kind of the like presence of the older girls. They've made the transition super easy, especially on the court. My first game starting as a freshman, obviously the nerves were high. Um, but, you know, after the first couple points, I was super comfortable. Um, and it was a big deal, you know, being able to trust the girls and feel their trust with me from the coaches and the girls. So just kind of having that relationship with them on and off the court, being able to trust each other. Um, it's made the transition a lot easier, but obviously I'm still being challenged every day um, and I'm very grateful for it. And it's just one of the reasons I picked the school. So um, yeah, it's been great. You mentioned all the new faces and the trust and with that comes communication and whatnot. And you being the libero, part of your job is making sure everyone gets lined up and communicating there. Definitely. As a freshman, have you found yourself in more of a vocal position as a result and having to step into that? Definitely. And um, that can sometimes be tough, obviously, you know, being a freshman and wanting to be a leader because sometimes it's looked down upon like you kind of have no right, like, you know, leading the court. But I think that everyone understands kind of like it doesn't really matter anymore. Like we're all here. We're all competing at the same level. Um, and so they've really let me like take control of the back row and kind of, you know, line people up, remind people what we're doing. Um, and it's been great kind of receiving that respect from them and like you know, it makes me want to respect them even more. So it's been great. Um, I'm really trying to be as vocal as I can, but yeah, they keep me in place. So it's good. I always forget uh, until we do women's volleyball segments that you're a libero expert. I'm dialed. I'm dialed here. Yeah. He's married, married to my, a libero. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah. I know who you are. <laughs> I, uh, I know my, what, back left, back right terminology yeah, or whatever good. it is. Yeah. yeah. The different, different uh, formations. Mm -hmm. We're still different working. Though. I'm a little systems. rusty. I'm a little rusty. It's all good. Speaking of uh, former USC women's volleyball players, I saw that April Ross is a real hero of, of yours. Uh, is beach potentially in your future? Do you want to make a transition like that after college, or how do you view beach volleyball? Um, so beach volleyball, you know, it's possibly my future, but it's kind of more of my past. Um, I was an avid beach player before I was, like, really into indoor. When I was kind of in the middle of switching clubs, I was really into beach volleyball, and especially kind of being undersized, um, at least on the indoor side, because I used to be an outside hitter. Um, beach was a great outlet for me to be able to, like, do it all. I could play defense. I could hit. I could block here and there when I got up. <laughs> um, but beach was a big deal, and um, April Ross was obviously someone I looked up to because she, one, went to my dream school. Um, and played both beach and indoor and obviously went to the Olympics, which yep. basically ticked off all the boxes of things <laughs> that I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, she's someone I looked up to a lot and still continue to look up to. Um, and, yeah, who knows? I mean, depending on how my indoor season plays out, hopefully, you know, I'm here maybe even, you know, considering finishing a fifth year. We'll see. But I would totally be open to playing beach in the future. But um, Have you met April? We'll play it out. No, I haven't. Um, Come on, Jordan, make that happen. I know, guys. Get on it. I'm we'll make it. No. We'll, we'll make it happen. That would be great. Yeah, I love her. Some strings. We've uh, we talked about the great start, eleven to four, beat UCLA. What's what's for a young team? What are the what are the expectations on the year for a young team with with a hot start like this? Mm -hmm. So um, I think even before the season started, like we had a lot of expectations, just because 
We had the number one recruiting class, our freshman class, a lot of really great transfers. Um, I think the expectations for us is just being a very competitive, gritty team. I think that's something that our head coach, Brad Keller, has instilled in us, like being uncomfortable, being gritty, like the road is full of bumps and it's never going to be easy. And like ticking off those little boxes, little accomplishments, beating UCLA, that's huge. Like that's one little step towards like a big accomplishment. And I think just like getting in there and working extremely hard because we have a lot of talent, like here and there, we have great obviously great outside hitters, great setters, great middles, great defenders, um, but just being able to come together and put it all together and still be like a hardworking team and not just relying on the natural talent that we have is going to be huge for us. And I think that with having such a young team, like we're going to be so great now, but like I can't wait to see what's going to come like after a couple years of us like really playing all together. So my wife used to do this when she was here. I've never understood it. What's up with the knee pads below the kneecap? Like, when did that become a thing? Um, that just seems ridiculous when there are knee pads on the uh, <laughs> shin. The, the shin. Yeah, that's a hot topic of discussion. Um, Is it? Volleyball players, yeah. Because I personally, I mean, my knees are rough considering how much I dive. I'm sure hers were too. But um, I don't know if you've ever seen the knee pads in real life, but they're fat. Like, they're real big. So um, usually when I dive at least, um, most of my body that hits the ground is kind of the lower half of my knee, not really like this upper part of my the cap. kneecap. Yeah. Um, but I know people have their preferences. Some people like to wear them a little lower. I don't know. I, I personally don't like Probably that. Probably a swag thing a little yeah, bit maybe. too. Yeah, maybe. But I also have really short legs. So like the lower I put them, the less leg I have. So Gotta look good. Um, yeah. <laughs> we were so, just talking about that. It's kind of a style thing, but also maybe like a personal preference thing. But yeah, it's pretty popular to wear. Yep. Kind of low now, so. I'm sure Max has 20 more questions. There we go. Yeah, let's <laughs> Max, bring her back next week. We need to talk let's about go. ACs Women's or... volleyball segment every week. Bring back uh, Coach Keller. We need him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, well, you can catch women's volleyball there at Galen Center all season long. Uh, as, as we said, they're, they're riding a hot streak right now. They hit to the Arizona schools this weekend, so check them out and support that team as well.